So my brothers and sisters, here is this month. We must make an effort to fast it unless we have a valid excuse where we, it would be allowed for us not to fast. Allah says, وَمَن كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ Whoever is not well or is on a journey, they may make up the missed fasts on other days. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us when he speaks of Shahru Ramadan. Now, if you look again at that, it is such a great gift of Allah. So much of mercy, Allah is telling you, you have to fast. You must acknowledge it's a pillar. You must acknowledge it's a whole month. You must acknowledge that it's the ninth month. You must acknowledge it's the month of Ramadan. And you must acknowledge it's from dawn to dusk. And you must fast. And if you cannot, because of your journey or because you have a valid excuse, the women in their menses, perhaps the women with afterbirth, perhaps those who might be breastfeeding or who may be pregnant, who cannot manage to fast, they have an excuse. Subhanallah. Those who are on journey, those who are unwell, uh, those who are elderly, perhaps they are unable to fast due to some reason. Again, it would uh, boil down to the sickness. So in that case, you either make it up on other days or if you really cannot even make it up because you can't fast due to a sickness or some form of inability that you have, in that case, you can give out what is known as a fidya. It's a compensation, a token amount for every single fast. Remember, the fidya is not equivalent to the fast, but it's a token amount of compensation because you couldn't fast. That still does not mean that you must not participate in other acts of worship in the month of Ramadan. You must read your Quran and you must do your dhikr and you must do your other ibadah. You must do your salah. You must do whatever else you can. It doesn't mean just because you were ill or unwell that you are excused from everything. You can just sleep from dawn to dusk. May Allah forgive us.